Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's see if I can get some more light on the picture here. There, I'm kind of sitting in the dark, aren't I? I got my new little lamp over here, but it's really bright. It's I'm glad I got it because I needed help reading. But anyway, remember when I used to ask y'all to help Morella? Well, she, she used to send lots of beautiful letters and share her dreams and stuff. And she hadn't been lately. And anyway, let me go to my email. She sent me a dream she had the, last night. And listen to this. She said, How are you? Hope to see you very soon. This night I dreamed I needed to get to my apartment, which was on the eighth floor. Now, there's got to be a significance to that number eight. The team is taking tonight off because Kathy and Dan have to take their vehicle in tomorrow early in the morning. So we're, we're off tonight, so I can't ask the team. So I'm going to go ahead and share this dream. And y'all, give me your comments. And maybe I'll post it on Signal and they can see it there and see what they think. I know the number eight is significant. And one of the ladies is really gifted with the number staying. <laughs> so anyway, she says, I needed to get to my apartment, which was on the eighth floor, which she doesn't live in an apartment. She lives in this tiny little two-room house that's like a shack. You know what I'm saying? Down there in Ecuador. Anyway, there was no way to get there by stairs, only by elevator. And some people... We're trying to prevent me from getting in the elevator by quarreling with me. So I just left them and got in. Now that is screams loud and clear. This is the world trying to, it's the demonic world trying to distract us from where we need to go, where we need to be, what we need to do to reach our goal. And that is to make it outside of time in the first fruits rapture. Okay? So don't let the world hold you back. You do what you got to do. You just do it. And never mind what they say or do. Don't argue with people who just want to argue their point of view and their opinion and their doctrines and so on. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay. She needed to get to her apartment. People were trying to prevent her, so she left them and got in. As soon as I did, the walls of the elevator became transparent. That represents our transfiguration. I know it does. And I could see I was being transported above houses and trees. It was like a plane taking off. And I woke up. I do not know how much longer until we get home. In my dream, it was the destination, and I was approaching it super fast and enjoying the journey. Oh, it's so good to hear from her, sounding so good again. She's been so depressed, and I thanked her for sharing her dream. So, anyway, um, that is from Morella. I guess she's using her maiden name again. Because her married name was Dimitrascu. So I guess that's the end of that. And I hope you enjoyed hearing her dream. And pretty soon we'll be taking off to go see our Savior. And go outside of time and get our glorified bodies. We'll be transfigured. Oh, hallelujah. It's going to be so wonderful, brothers and sisters. I can hardly wait. God bless each and every one of you. Have a blessed night or a blessed day, wherever you are, whenever you happen to see this. Okay, bye for now, y'all. Talk to you later.